Hmm. Hello everybody, Andrew here. Today I am going to share this, which is my new bike. And over there you can see my old bike. And by old, I mean three weeks old. So a few weeks back, I sold my Blackbird, my CBR1100XX, and I was really, really pleased because I found a super cheap bike that I thought is going to, you know, it's gonna be a good buy, it's going to last me for a while, and there it is there. And uh, I, was, I, I, I still am super happy with the purchase and how it's going, it's a great little bike the um, Kawasaki Ninja 300 over there but saying that yesterday day before yesterday I found this and there it is but as you can see the headlights hanging down and the indicators in my hand and there are tools all around me and there's a special reason for that and I wanted to share that with everybody. So I was all set to be really creative and do an awesome, cool bike reveal for this Ducati, but a couple of things got in the way. The first one is I'm too lazy. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm done with trying to be creative. Uh, I, I had a go at it before and I don't think I'm gonna do it again. So anyway, here it is my new bike. Uh, I wanted to let you know my experience because I think we might see all these YouTubers uh, doing their bike reveals and it all looks so good. Yes, new bike, it's all cool and you know, we've got lots of drone footage and um, yeah, and, that, and, and that's all sweet. But my experience with my new bike is, has not been that. So I went and checked it out it all seemed okay. Yes, there's a little bit of, um, you know, it's a little bit rough. It's a, it's, a, it's a little bit rough. And that's what I thought. Oh, it's a little bit rough. She'll be right. She started eventually. And how, how bad could it be, really? How bad could it be? So, um, yeah, well, this morning I spent four hours looking for a problem. Um, and it's four hours solid, nonstop, looking for something that is causing the bike to not start. So I went on the forums, I'm here at the bike, I pulled the whole front apart of the bike, I uh, drained the tank, oh the tank got a hole in it too, that was fun. Um, but I plugged that up, that, that's all good. Um, used the same, tank, same uh, tank repair thing that I did a, quite a few videos ago and it still worked great, so that was good. Pulled all the fuses apart, I was wiggling wires around. I even stripped a couple of wires to see if there was a problem in one of the wires. I felt there was a problem there, but there wasn't. Um, I pulled the uh, kill switch all apart. I the starter. I now am really intimately um, in touch with the starter because I know exactly how it works because <laughs> I pulled that apart. That's good. It's been a good learning experience, but uh, yeah. Um, so I take it for its roadworthy certificate because in Australia here we have a roadworthy certificate and um, some interesting things popped up. So one of them was the blinkers, they were on the wrong way around and so here you can see it has a little hole, which is a drain hole. Um, so when it rains, it if water gets in there, it drains out. Well. This was unfortunately installed the wrong way. It was upside down on the other side. So yeah, a uh, unexpected little problem. I had to do a home job on repairing this and I, I'm not sure if, like how good I ended up going with that. But anyway, yeah, that's broken too. Oh, great. Shit. Okay. Probably gonna get new blinkers, I think after Roadworthy. So in my haste to get it to Roadworthy, of course, I forgot to put a couple of things back on and it was picked up. So like, there's no bar end, that was another one. And this piece here, okay. Okay, this piece here has to be put back on. 
because it's a legal requirement to have it, a chain guard. So yeah, that was another one. Yeah, I have to repair that first. Yeah, I forgot to put this on and that covers up, um, I think it's a solenoid or something on the other side there. So yay, um, he pulled me up on that as well. That's cool and it's, they're all really easy fixes. There was a couple others. So there is a unexpected leak that I didn't really notice uh, when I bought the bike, but there you go, there's a leak. <laughs> and uh, that, that hopefully it's just a couple of bow rings, so that's not too bad. And the other one was the chain and the sprockets are quite worn and I kind of knew that that was coming, but I thought it might pass through with it, but it didn't, not even close apparently. So yeah, a um, couple of little things, little frustrating things. The four hours looking for that one little problem this morning, that was that was huge. Like mentally, I I was just drained. I was ready to give up. Um, the only reason I got through is because I found someone mentioning something on a forum, and I by accident found where the problem was by again bending the wires and touching wires. So. I will do a separate video on it, but this was it here. That, that, that there, that little connector caused a lot of heartache for me. Now, okay, I, I like tinkering with bikes, I do, but I don't like it when it's like, it's four, like four hours or solid of frustration, frustration, frustration. So when you do find a solution, yeah, that's happy days. I love that thought, I love that feeling, but uh, yeah, it, it, a lot of frustration first before that feeling. I've started to get a bit of a reputation for my bikes looking a little bit rough and I'm not sure where that comes from. No, I don't know exactly where that comes from and that is because my second Ducati that I had, I spray painted with a can, um, flat black straight. And uh, then when I had my um, Hyosung GT650, I did exactly the same thing, spray painted in my black. The GB250 Aquila that I also had, a um, little cruiser, Hyo Cruiser, that got a lot of spray paint. And my big black bird also was the recipient of quite a bit of spray paint. This bike, <laughs> it's not looking good for this bike, but last night I thought, well, you know, we might be able to bring him back. So spent a couple of hours with Alex, one little boy, and we did a fair bit of buffing and it's come up quite nice. I'm actually quite, quite pleased with how it's come up. It's, it's still shiny, but uh, I don't know. We'll see, what do you reckon? Should I keep it red? Mm, maybe, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe I should. So I've got two bikes that I can uh, talk about and the first one was my yellow Ducati and you can see it right here. It's a wonderful looking bike and it uh, was, was great, but it was this really funny yellow color that I didn't really like. That was the only thing that I really didn't like about the bike, it's just a color. Um, now, the second one is my second monster, and you can see that it is matte black, and it's got the retro Ducati. So instead of the Ducati over here on the tank, it's got the retro sticker and I can make my own stickers, so it's all cool. I can make it look good and everything. But yeah, so I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I might, I might do that, I might. Um, yeah. Now, the other thing on this bike is I've got a couple of pieces here that are starting to weather. So the bike lived next to the ocean and any bike that lives next to an ocean for any particular period of time, uh, uh, you know, more than a week or so, it starts to rust really, really quickly. And this bike has a little bit of rust um, in some of the screws, mainly. The frame's good, the engine looks pretty good, but uh, some of these casings, some of the engine casings, actually have the paint starting to come off. Um, yeah, not, not, not too nice. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet. I might get it done professionally. Um, sometimes it's, it's good to be frustrated because I've now fixed, you know, a couple of things on here already and, you know, it's helping me bond with my bike. It really is. I, I feel much more attached to this the fact that I've been frustrated at it and 
have been able to, you know, um, get to the bottom of things. It's uh, a little bit like being married, actually. Uh, whereas that bike over there, well, that's just a pretty young little thing that uh, kind of boring in a way, but it's nice to look at, but yeah, not much attachment. But this one here, yeah, I'm getting attached. So hopefully, mechanically, fingers crossed, he'll be fine. Oh, we'll see. All right, guys, so stay tuned. I'm hoping to get a few more videos of that bike in before I sell it. So I do have a few things to say about that bike. It is quite a nice bike. I do enjoy riding it. There's a, so I'll see if I can get a few videos in, but uh, yeah, I'm onto this now. So I think that makes seven bikes in the past year and a half, two years. Yeah, something like that. So, but you know, what are you to do? And just to finish off, can I say a quick thank you to the people who've supported me just through the comments there's a couple of you who made some really supportive comments about me giving up the blackbird and i was feeling a bit like a bit, no, i'm not down down's a, a, like a bad word but i was feeling a little bit i don't know sad in a way um yeah a little bit not the, the, the decision to do it didn't sit very well and you know you guys made some comments that really made me think uh, yeah, you know, it was it was the right decision for me and um, you know what like I'm really happy <laughs> That this is going to replace the bird. So yeah, that's it guys. Thank you very much until next time